All right. Do we have any additions or deletions to the agenda? If not, we have a motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Did you get that, Martha? Yes. Can you see my hand up? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. We have audio, no video of you. Oh, you only... don't. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I see. There we go. Okay. Thank you. There. Agenda okay. Uh No public input tonight. How about an approval for the board meeting minutes from October 9th? I move I to approve. Oh. Martha with the first, AJ with the second. Any discussion? All in favor? Okay. That's our approved. Our information section, this will be probably a swift meeting tonight because we have some absences. Uh, information, we hired our coaches that we were looking for. Yeah. So yes. Yay. Uh, right on into our reports and discussion, um, enrollment and Shauna's um, board report. I'm going to ask you to talk about SIA. Okay. Oh, yeah. Any questions? Do your best. Student investment account that is running the division by the state for some pretty specific things. And so, what we've used to our sport, this is talking about last school year. That money was used for our certified PE staff, allowing PE to happen in each and every building. Okay. Our mental health counselors, also one in each and every building, which I can just tell you is incredibly important to support our students. We also have money allotted for the nurse that is a district-based okay. nurse in partnership with Southern Coast Hospital Foundation. For our behavior interventionist, which was the Mariah McMonagall position that last year was split between the high school and the middle school, it is now a full-time middle school position as we have uh, Jim covering the high school. Uh, we also had our academic advisor at the high school with SIA money and then some belonging activities. One of our big focuses has been making sure that our school community feels like a community, that everyone is a part of it. And so we did... Uh, welcome meals, you know, where you can come together over food. We did t-shirts for every student, so they got they had a tiger pride wear, all that kind of stuff. So a, a mental health counselor and behavior interventionist, those are like two different things. Yes. They, so, they overlap at all? Not really, no. So the mental health therapist is a, through our partnership with Food Health and Wellness, and it is a licensed mental health therapist, the behavior interventionist is uh is not trained in mental health therapy, but rather in helping us set up our systems of support for behavior struggles and for positive behavior intervention. Um, All right, for me. Basically. Okay. Many times, wouldn't yeah. you say? <laughs> if we do have a student, so like here in high school, if I do have a student that uh, I think should be seeing our school therapist, um, then I can refer them to that instead of just doing the traditional discipline route, you know, if there's more to the picture. Yeah. So that's really how we kind of work together. And then, uh, you know, a lot of times I'll pass that off to them in their realm. And like she said, they kind of take that over because that's what they're trained in. So yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, they definitely work in conjunction, but not really in an overlap. Mm -hmm. So, and then there is some really specific, uh, the ODE template that talks about what we've seen as far as changes and things that are currently in place. And so if you wanted more specific district wide on that, that would probably be a better question for a common issue. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And then I hope uh, all the board members got a chance to look on our website for the um, uh, Division 22 report, which we are fully compliant in. So that, yeah. that was great. Okay, let's move right over to Amanda. Is there ever a season where it's not audit
still but we we have everything to go with you. So I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, Gatsby 87 was something that the board opted out of. Uh, oh, yeah. Why don't you give us a reminder of what that was? What, what about that? Uh, so, in summary of what Gatsby 96 is, um, and then what our but basically, the application is something that the uh, author recommended. It's the expense of the to do the recommendations that are going to be based by the like, governmental or not based on the uh, So, Gatsby 87 was uh, to create a for all the school releases to equalize what you pay for and, uh, and create a liability that you can have. Um, so it's basically just kind of helping you create, create more transparency. So this is so, an action item for us later tonight? Yes. Is so, that something that you want that helps you? Yes, I will I'll explain to you. So that's what Gabby 87 is not under that. Subscription based accounts, uh, based accounts. So, Microsoft Teams, Dropbox, things like that. It's just more and more. So, it's it's expensive for districts to be willing to hire that since um, a lot of districts actually have to purchase software. So, um, so yeah, so again, there's a lot of especially small school districts. Uh, so the auditors are recommending that to the be quite a burden for our district. Then. So, if anybody has questions about any of that. So yes, yeah, so that was that was that, and then questions for Amanda. Okay, thank you. Uh, Courtney's not here. Is anybody highlighting anything for Courtney, or are we just going off the board report? Okay, we're going off the report. Yeah. <laughs> Becky. So when I wrote the report, we had a CPI training for our classified staff that we have delayed. Uh, we had some, some struggles with report cards, having a new system. And so we delayed that so that I could help with determining where grades were and who we needed for targeted conferences. And um, it has been a, a bit of a lift to take on a new system. We're super grateful for Adam and the support that he's provided as we're trying to kind of navigate a new system. He was instrumental in making sure that we got what we needed and communicating with Synergy. Uh, but the problems were not our end, but definitely impacted. So big shout out to Adam for his support with that. Uh, other than that, I will tell you, this was perhaps the most positive conference session we have had in my time at Harbor Light. Uh, at seventh and eighth grade, we do targeted conferences for students that have failing grades. That's never an awesome conversation for families. It's hard to hear. And um, I was just overwhelmed with the positivity of our <clears throat> teachers and really being able to highlight some of the positive things that we see in our students who are showing an academic struggle while still being really honest and open about where that struggle lies and how we can provide the kind of support that students need to experience some more success before the end of the semester. Um, uh, our families are are really beautiful, and they responded very well. And so I just am, I am impressed not only with our teachers, but also with our families on their willingness to come and partner with us. 
Uh, we are starting up a behavior team. One of the things that we like to do in education is use data to drive our decisions. And so uh, Mariah McConnell, our behavior interventionist, and Tina Wyatt, our student support specialist, have been compiling the data from our reset room, which is where we kind of triage behaviors. And we are starting up after the holiday break for Thanksgiving with data teams. We're choosing to focus our data teams right now on fifth and sixth grade. That is where we're seeing the majority of our chronic behaviors, which is, uh, I think, a really good sign that what we're doing is working. The students that have been with us for this process for two years already that are now up in that seventh and eighth grade building know the expectation. They're owning their behaviors. They're being really honest and accountable. Uh, our fifth and sixth graders are still adjusting to what the expectations are. Uh, a lot of what we see, and we saw this at Ocean Crest as well, the students with the biggest struggles are often students who are new to our system. And they are coming from uh, perhaps a multitude of different school experiences and expectations. And so just taking that time to really build those relationships and put plans in place to support students is successful. This is just the next step in doing that work. So a uh, real big thank you to Mariah and Tina for the work that they do around that. And then um, oh, oh, we've got a little friend over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then just a, a shout out to my staff as we're doing, you know, we talked about the whole paradigm that pushes me out in the classrooms twice a week, full day out in the wild, as we call it. Uh, it's been a huge blessing to me, but it only works well if it works for everyone in the system. And so uh, at the quarter, I asked for some feedback and received it. I'm so grateful that they're willing to give me honest feedback. A lot of it was positive, but some of it was constructive. And we've been able to then institute office hours so that I am also available for them. Because when I'm out and about in the wild, I'm less available for them to pop in. And so we have done just a quick shift and they are using it and I am appreciative. So we will come back again in January and get some feedback and just kind of keep the nuanced shifts coming so that the new system works for everyone involved. But I will tell you as a principal, I love being out more, seeing the magic happen in the classrooms. So, um, and then as for special education, we've got our cyclical monitoring, we do a file review. That review is happening on Friday. We met with our ODE County contact, Jeremy Wells. We have our uh, director of IDEA, which is special education for the state, who will be in town at the end of this week, helping another district with their monitoring. So he's available if we have any questions. But uh, I have been a special education director in this now my sixth year. And we have yet to not be fully compliant. I am confident that we will remain fully compliant. Our special education team does a really nice job crossing the T's and dotting the I's and making sure that our plans for students are really student focused on getting them what they need. So I this will be kind of jumping through the hoop that we need to do, but it's also a really great opportunity to highlight the good work happening in our special educational program. So I'd like to shout them out to you. Questions for Becky? Brina, you're up. Brina's up. So since uh, 79 is still, we need to teach us several walking kids about interest and not interested in rowdy stutter and want to turn about athletics. So uh, we do have conferences and, you know, high school. It's, it's, we target our freshmen. We try to do group homes with kids in our class. So, I guess opportunities for parents also just to walk in to really get to know them. Um, and then I am wrapping up my first round of formal observations for this one. There are two left. So for me, so Brian, that's why I'm here with the Harbor Life Community School because we will have several pathways that we're exploring so that we can come in with eligibility and be able to come in with the and then once Mariah has met one more time, she, she's going to meet with the math finding curriculum. So we may be looking at the series of three hours of work. So that's going to be 
Um, besides offering the firefighter type two class, semester two, we're also going to offer a for students that they're needing more one on and then help with scholarships or applications for colleges. So, but for other kids too that might need some better recovery, just some extra one on one help with classes, scholarships, uh, applications, and then next year we're going to roll it out so that it happens. Are you doing the same this year as you did this year to help with the VASTA? Help the VASTA oh, okay. schedule? I just don't know what day it is. Oh. Wondering, I'm attending the curriculum for this year. That'd probably be nice to have another quarter of those today. Especially since we can't talk about San Diego athletics tonight. <laughs> 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 uh, so let's see. We'll start with high school athletics. Um, <clears throat> so football ended up finishing six and four. The loss in the first round of the playoffs to Hefner. Um, volleyball went sixteen and ten. Um, also made the playoffs. And unfortunately, we lose the first round for volleyball as well to Salem Academy. Uh, cross country also went to state this past week. Uh, the girls ended up finishing fifth overall as a team, uh, which is really good. And the boys ended up finishing seventh overall as a team, which once again was really good because once we can talk about the whole state. Um, we did end up having one runner end up making the podium. Harley Petrie finished eighth place. Um, and that was a time of 20 minutes and 15 seconds. So anytime you finish the top 10 of the state competition, is always impressive by any means. So, um, Let's see, I'll switch over to middle school athletics here real quick. Um, so the fall season wrapped up and our winter seasons have actually started already. They started before our high school seasons did. Um, so our middle school girls have actually already played um, a couple games. And so that season's underway. They've been going for a couple of weeks now with practice and everything. Um, today, sorry, I'm jumping all over the place now. So perhaps I mentioned it, it was the first day of winter school, which high school actually too. So today's their first round of practices. Um, so all that is underway. Um, as for the coaching, we did have some position, positions open last um, time we met. Um, just touching base, Priscilla Weston and Traylon Ari Ariana are two Irish middle school girls mm -hmm. positions. Um, and then Harley Wright is our head softball coach. I'm the Irish. Uh, so our academic advisor. <laughs> the, the, name, the name is like. <laughs> like yeah, so yep, that'd be my wife. And uh, yep, she is our academic advisor. Um, I was not involved with softball interviews at all, <laughs> so I, I yeah, stood back and I said, I don't know, don't have a clue. Um, the last thing I'd like to bring up, which is an action item. Um, so our baseball team was invited to go to Idaho um, to play in this tournament. So it is a pretty highly competitive tournament. Um, the school from Idaho has actually reached out and they're getting a, a team from Oregon, Washington, Montana, and then we'll pick up another team from Idaho. Uh, but they're all state caliber schools um, that are all about our size. So it's kind of a small school tournament, but it's a high caliber. Um, and like I said, we were invited to go out to that one. Um, it is an out of state trip. And so that's why I bring it to the board um, for you guys to approve in your action um, items when you get to it. If you do have any other questions, I get referred out for you guys and then come and share more with you too. So let me know if you have any questions on that about details. Um, it is March 21st through the 23rd. Um, so right before spring break, it would be nice if it could have lined up on spring break for us, but you know that kind of shakes out sometimes. So how many would be going? Um, so we would be sending our baseball team, which we don't know the numbers of that yet because baseball season hasn't started, but it'd be anywhere from the final just ballpark anywhere from probably 15 to 20. So like I said, just to come down to kids come out for the team. No chance of using a small plane. That's a long drive. <laughs> yeah, it is. A, yes, it is a little bit of a haul. So uh, we've looked into... Uh, couple of different options and we ended up landing on enterprise vans 
Um, so you get two tips in person vans for a fairly affordable price compared to uh, your lot of this one. I like charter buses with single down to be. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, exactly. 7,000 each way. Oh, I wish it was at 7,000 each way. Yeah, we got a bid for 19,800, and I kindly said, well, that was more than I was expecting. Was um, so, <laughs> was that, was that a sleeper? No, no, it was not, unfortunately. Yeah, so that was, a, I just kindly replied, oh, you know, appreciate your time. Mm -hmm. um, that's more than we'd be able to probably ever afford. So, but yeah, so that's why we ended up doing enterprise vans. They're just much more affordable. You know, all that stuff. So, so you're not going to need one? Nope. Yep. <laughs> so that way, yeah. Feeling better on that. <laughs> <laughs> trying to make it as easy as you can for everyone involved. Well, that's so, that's enough. Yeah. Well, like yeah. you said, okay, the fans are all in the, the chain. Oh, yeah. So, okay, no, if you guys do have any questions, like I said, I have more information I'll be glad to share. Thank you. Yeah. Any questions for Jim? Okay. We have our student representative, Rowdy. She's going to take her oath of office now. Yes. Yep. If you just want to stand up and hold up your right hand, and read that. Stats to support the Constitution and the laws of the United States, the state of Oregon, and the laws thereof, and the policies of the Bend School District, and the discharge of the duties of student representative to the Bend School District Board to the best of my ability. Nicely done. And you can go ahead and report on whatever you have for us. Um, uh, again, you guys want to be associated student. Of Oregon, you can't keep up those words and stuff, but uh, OCA, OC, OSCA, sorry. Um, it was for students and ASP people. Uh, it was in Seaside, then there was one to Lamez, which I believe that was for art students and art students and music students, which was for that, yeah, sorry. Um, besides that, uh, I think there was one other trick that happened, but I did not put that in my little notes to rehearse, but it was the fire, the sewers were picked up this year. Last night, I went out in the field, it was an event, you know, freak in the middle. I got to go to the, to the little church. Oh, so that was really easy. <laughs> <laughs> Transportation is good. Don't worry, I'm not going to go. Which is good. Perfect. That was easy. All right, Brent. Yeah. You were a busy man. I have been. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's only half of it. Uh, yeah, so we have, I was mostly getting myself up to speed on all the building projects that we have going on. Uh, the four that are, as in my board report, the four that are kind of in the forefront. Our TT building, the bus barn, um, and then we're going to be going. Uh, I met with Jim at some of those uh, with our softball uh, building that we want to put up for the real softball, and then um, so we're finishing up in the process um, the bathrooms here at high school. So those are the big ones that I'm uh, putting my attention to at this time. Uh, things are going as expected. Uh, I think in the board packet that you should have got a new set of plans yes. uh, in there from ZCS. Um, so those are the newest set. Um, once I have, I've been looking over those, get myself familiar with those, see if any changes or, you know, there's a few things that uh, I've been talking with the uh, architect about, mostly about the sewer, how that goes. I'm not really, being a city background, I'm not really comfortable with um, <laughs> how they have it. Uh, so I'm seeing what options we have for that, but as soon as I'm meeting with him uh, with the city here uh, tomorrow, I'll see what 
things there are going on if you have for that. There won't be any more cost differences, but see what we can do. Um, the mitigating power of the train in the future. For a while, weren't they wanting us to catch and pump all of our drain off like a thousand feet? Mm -hmm. uh, not so. It, it'll dump into a, so there's a couple problems with that. Yes, that is the plan, but it's going to be, so there's a line that went to the old high school in the Harbor Lakes, in front of Harbor Lakes, that is where the old high school was. So there's an old line that goes there, goes all the way through Harbor Lakes, and dumps out the back. Uh, so they were wanting to connect to that, but pump in, uh, dump, pump, basically, into that. So I was asking some questions about that. There's a lot of maintenance costs. It's a lift station, per se, is what we call it. There's a lot of maintenance costs for that, and there's a lot of headaches associated with that. I've had many more stations, more like them, but it's a where we actually have to But um, I asked uh, the architect if they had ever scoped the line, uh, put a camera through it, see what the condition of that line, line is. They have not. They, so we don't even know the condition of that line. And again, I'm not comfortable hooking something up to something we don't know because it's on the uh, hard light is on on grade slab, so everything is underneath that. So if anything collapses anywhere of the harbor lights, you gotta find a different way to go in any at any time. You know? So I'm not not ready to accept that risk at this point. And so there are other options on exploring those. Anyway, all that to say when I do that, then that'll move on to the contractor and then give us a price. What's your sense with the overall project? Do you feel like we're back on track in that particular project? In the yeah. Um, yeah. So, like, now that we've gone through, I think taking things out and getting it under the cost under control, yeah, I think we're fine. And um, I haven't checked on that's the other thing I need to get out of all the committee. So I'm not sure where we are 100 percent on that. Uh, but from the little bit I talked with the email, it sounds like uh the name is there. But so I I need to verify that, uh, which is part of why I need to take off. And so yeah, we'll get on those. And so yeah, I mean it looks like a pretty good project. It'll it'll do well. So sure. you good. Do we estimate a start time? Yeah, we just don't. We have that little short window, as you know, of funding. So, I'm yeah, just, it's so, a little nervous for a bit there. Yeah, so, <clears throat> yeah, I'm pushing. Uh, there's a lot of cogs in that wheel, uh, and everybody has to do the job <laughs> for it to work. And so, yeah, and it, I think it, what it's going to take is just me pushing, which that's what I'm good at. So, yeah. So I have no problem with that. Yes. Two things. Uh, yep. One is, is the CT buildings, is the status still the same for them? Uh, we've actually gone a little more on that. So, oh. yep. So where we've gone on that is uh, we are now have an agreement with uh, HCS architecture, who is going to be taking over that um, as far as doing a, um, looking at the, the building that we have now or roof that we have now. Uh, seeing if it's fit, which, as we've talked, I've, as I've talked with them quite a bit, I'm not sure it's going to work, uh, and they're not sure it's going to work. Uh, the foundation is an issue. Um, I'm not sure it was ever designed for classroom purpose. I'm not sure, but I don't have any history on that. But how it's built currently, it's not uh, suitable for a classroom. All that goes into that. So there is a company here in town that has a, a camera. That's why I to 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 snake the uh, right. So yeah, yeah. There's a company here in town that has that. Okay. Yeah. So that's all that. Yeah. That just needs to happen if we have to go that route. I'm hoping to just do a gravity feed because then that takes yeah everything out for us and no maintenance, which is where I went. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, and then the other one of the last real quick thing is we're implementing a computer uh, computer maintenance software this one, uh, and so we're just rolling out this week, and then uh, when everybody gets back to Thanksgiving, that'll be in in use.
use where everybody will be able to, if they have any requests, they'll be able to just get on the computer. The requests will go right to me or my group, and it'll be very efficient. We'll know exactly where, what, how, and when. So any of your buildings, if they have any, they submit it right to me. Yeah. And so we can track budgets, we can track assets, we can track hours, we can check uh, we can check all that and have parts, whatever, to do that. And then it's just one straight line. Everybody gets a history, like whoever requests, one of the cool things is whoever is requesting the service or whatever they need, um, they will be uh, notified every time that something happens. So if we start it, when if we're uh, waiting for parts or if we're closing it, they get an email every time. This is where we're at. So there's always that history. Yep, yeah. and that's exactly what it is, but at least you know where we're at. Right here. So then it, it, Adam is in with this. Um, so if they have any IT, it'll just be fun a lot for them. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of nice to them. drop everything into it. Yeah. So you're really very straight line. I see. Thank you. More questions for Brands? Sure. Okay. Uh, we're going to move into our action item section. So if you don't need to be here, you're welcome to go enjoy the rest of your beer evening. Yes, thank you. You're right. Yes, thank you. Dave. Or do you want to just leave this part with you? Uh, I can leave that. Hey, Dave. Yes, ma'am. Um, when Amanda was giving her report, I could not hear any of it. And I understand there's an action item. So if you can uh, maybe sort of translate that, yeah. then, okay, thanks. <laughs> Good. Coming up soon. Okay. All right. Let's uh, pay some bills first. I have a motion. Uh, question first. Do I have a steam? Just a little form? Yeah. Okay. Are you in there? Yeah, well, usually. <laughs> I didn't see you earlier. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay. Yeah, there, it's there. Oh, this. Yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> it's, it's not off the pedal. So, do I have a motion to pay the bills? Any discussion on those? All in favor? Okay, that passes. Okay, let's go over to our OSBA Regional Board candidate, Tom Chanez, I believe is how it's pronounced. Um, did you all get a chance to read his submissions? Yep. We're ready yes. To go. Okay. All right. So, do I have a motion to approve Tom? I'll make a motion to approve Tom Chenez for LPC position nine. And I second. Any discussion? Okay. All in favor? Okay. Here you go, Tom. Enjoy the extra work. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one is the OSBA resolution number one resolution to amend OSBA's bylaws relating to the composition of the board of directors. Have a motion. Got that. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Okay. Unanimous on that. And then the second OSBA resolution, uh, resolution to amend the 2018 bylaws. Resolution to amend the 2018 bylaws. I'm second. Discussion? I'm uh, looking forward to having more re representation. Rural representation. Yeah. And they cleaned up a lot of the language and yeah. deleted a lot of overlap in the bylaws. 
Okay, all in favor? Unanimous on that. Uh, GASP 96. So basically, um, this would be a burden and an hindrance to our district because we would have to implement a whole bunch of new systems that um, we don't really have the time or staff to do. So the recommendation from our auditor is to exclude ourselves from that, which we've done in the past with a similar thing. So that would be my recommendation. Do you need any further on that? It is? No, that's good. Okay. Do you want a motion then, Martha? Sure, I make a motion that we unburden ourselves of the GSAB proposal as we have at different times in the past. Discussion, okay. all in favor? Okay. And then uh, approval of the high school field trip. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do we need so that we approve it so long as they can fund it? Um, I think that's something that Shauna can handle. Yeah. If, it's, yeah. if it's not a if it's not within our financial capability, you should come back to us. Just so they don't use a Lear jet, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're <laughs> obviously trying to be responsible. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're definitely trying to be responsible with the funds. Otherwise, they would have taken the charter yeah. for 19. <laughs> last year's way nicer. Our baseball team went to state, right? Yeah. So let's yeah. go. All right. I'd like to make a motion to approve the high school baseball team trip to Kuskia, Idaho. And I second that. All in favor? So passes unanimously. Uh, we don't have any public input. So there's nobody here. So I make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Yes. 